anytime that you turn the ball over against a good football team, you'll be in trouble, uh, especially giving up short fields. Um, we had a tough time stopping the room most of the day and uh, setting up 22, 33, and whatever the other ones were. Yard fields really isn't going to do you any good. Talk about the difficulty in there it's tough they're good players you know, they have a really good front very stout they keep coming after you um, you know we are we are getting better but we're a young football team you know we're two-thirds freshmen and sophomores and uh, you know up front on the offensive line is one of the areas that we are trying to address every year and, and continue to catch up you know as we play a Patriot League and Ivy League schedule so um, very good defensive front veteran guys and uh, you know, it was tough to keep, to keep them off the quarterback and keep them off Gunther uh, throughout the first half. It's the first start for their young quarterback. What did you see from them? I thought their coaches did a great job of protecting them early. You know, they ran the ball. They do a great job with formations and tight ends and unbalanced. So, you know, they really didn't ask him to do much early, which is nothing against him. He's a group, very good player, but um, gave him some safe throws, some bootleg throws. They did a nice job of running the play action with the throwback. You know, got us on zone one time and on a post corner ball and man to man on one of our best players. So, you know, I thought their design was really good to get him comfortable in his first start um, and put some of the weight on the running backs and their veterans on the offensive line up front. So you know, I didn't see his stats, but I know he had a pretty good day. Uh, very efficient, you know, 15 to 21. And uh, he kept them out of, you know, they weren't behind the sticks very often in the first half. They did a nice job of running the football. Position and possession. They had 16, almost 16 extra minutes with the ball, yeah. and they were in your territory. You guys were starting deep. Is game? Yeah, you know, on defense, you know, we started, we would play pretty good defense. We gave up two big plays in the first half that flipped the field back. You know, Brad Hurst continues to be one of the best kickers at this level um, that I've ever seen. So he flipped the field twice for us, and in succession, we gave up a deep pass in a long run. So, um, you know, we, we need to address some things in all three parts of the game. Um, but, you know, you, you have to play field position against a team like that, um, who you know is going to be able to run the football. And, uh, you know, we wanted to come into the game and shorten the game, uh, limit our turnovers and, and give ourselves a shot in the second half uh, with playing some good defense. So, you know, we'll address the things that we saw in the film. We come right back and play another Ivy League opponent in Columbia next week who's a good team. and. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take what we learned from today and get ready for the next weekend. Do you guys have a future plan that includes scholarships, or is it no scholarships and that's just the way it's going to be? We're more similar to, to Dartmouth and the Ivy League right now with how we give aid. Um, and, you know, I would, I would challenge anybody, if you look at our freshman and sophomore classes, is what you just watched there with Wes Bowers and uh, Herman Moultrie. You know, we have some really good players that were in competition with the Patriot League schools as well as nationally with our biggest state probably being Florida, followed by Georgia, Texas, Louisiana in succession. So I think the Georgetown brand gives us the ability to recruit nationally and find great players. You know, we're in the most powerful city in the world. And uh, you know, I like our plan. I like our young classes. Obviously, we have to play better against quality opponents. If you look at Dartmouth's roster, there are 29 seniors, 30, 31, and 29, I think, as you break the team down. So the Ivies have an extra class because they take 32 a year. We're working with 90. I think we have 82 healthy bodies right now. So there's some things that you need to, and every Patriot League school needs to address when it comes to that. But um, with or without scholarships, the packaging that we are given right now and, and um, how we're handling our kids through admissions, I think we have two really quality classes, especially in our freshman and sophomore. So I'm excited that you saw some guys in the fourth quarter with the game out of hand continue to play well and show up. Uh, that's important to me. And uh, I know this team, especially the junior and senior class that have been through the wars with us, you know, we'll, we'll come back and be ready to play Columbia next week. NFL's taking a look at your punter? He's a sophomore. Just so, you know, I hope so. I, I hope we don't jinx him, but yeah, he's kicked well for us in the first couple games here. So, and uh, athletic kid, unfortunately, he had to make a tackle today. That's the second one he's made this season. So, um, but, you know, he's a competitor. You know, he, uh, He's got an edge to him, and uh, he's one of the better kids for us, and he's definitely a weapon that we have to continue to use throughout the season. You, you played three Ivies a year. You played three last year. Dartmouth's first game, they haven't tackled in the preseason. We haven't seen a whole lot. What did you see of Dartmouth overall? What do you think of that? 
setting up? I think they, uh, you know, we didn't see the quarterback 13 today, obviously was out for the game. Um, and we, we were concerned about him just as an overall weapon. But I think they do a nice job of mixing on offense between wings and things and the run game that you have to defend with some nice spread concepts. You know, defensively, I've known Coach Dobbs 25 years, so there's nobody better in the business. I don't care what level it is. So, you know, when you play the Ivy teams, they're going to be tough, deep, and well coached. Uh, and those are the things that you, you know, hopefully that you're doing with your, your own program um, from week in and week out. So they're quality opponents. They're who we should be playing out of conference. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we're looking forward to getting back to Georgetown next week for homecoming against Columbia.